Digging. Yeah. Yeah, we got this nigga. <laughs> oh. It came off the wall. Will I be able to use this? Let's see if I can remember this combination. Hmm. <laughs> okay now. And finally. That's cheating. Da. That's cheating. Next time I'm setting it to one, two, three. <laughs> Yeah! Well, stuff is just gonna be for content. I'm gonna pick this up. Mm, I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna open this. Mm, get that nigga nose. It's an IOU. Ransom the. Clown lost a thousand dollars to me, Carney Joe, and I will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. Yeah. Mm. This nose is perfectly modeled after my own. It's just too big for the doll's face. This nose is perfectly modeled after my own. It's just too big. Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do. <laughs> Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Next time I'm setting it to one, two. Yes. Next time I'm setting it to one, two, three. All right, so what it was was it was the trailers outside of this house, the amount of trophies you have in the room, how many kids the dude has. That's all it was. Uh, I can't pick it up. Pick up the card. Okay. It's my lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. Yeah, you ain't tripping. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Mm -hmm. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Mm -hmm. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. Mm. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Mm. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You. Mean to everybody. I'm just gonna go over here. Right, that nigga right here. Well, you. What a just easy there. job. Just stand and wave. Stand and wave. I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. Who is this? That's the Sheriff of Reno, right? He's in everything. The Sheriff of Reno. The, the damn. Look at that. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. Must be. Come on over! Oh, yeah. Still not talking to anyway. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown. Asswipe. Okay, you got my money ransom, the asswipe clown? One thousand clams or you're not getting your joke book back. It serves you right for playing the duckies. Oh, yeah. So, uh, how's the old ball and this chain of kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the ten kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. I don't know what he did. Well, I, I need my go. joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, uh -huh. $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. Not my problem. I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Maybe it's time to rob the jar. 
Seem to work. What? I just take the big bucks. Mm hmm. I use the hair drill. Ooh, my cloud pro looks great now. Mm hmm. Ooh, the guys in the makeup. Now there's the face I love. Mm hmm. Come on over here. Come on, way. Step right this way. Talk to here. You got my money ransom, the ass white clown. I have your money. A thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah. The jokes all suck. Mm -hmm. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Grand pro- It's my joke book. No spoilers here. You have to wait for my show for the joke. It's my joke Man, book. What? No. You don't even use it. It's poop. Watch. You don't even use it, man. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if Dude, you do, okay, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. Man, you see the mayor slash mm, old dude. <clears throat> mm, where's the book at? You see that? You're all a bunch of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. The low IQ, the weird speech patterns, the same ugly face. If that ain't just one weirdo, somebody definitely their sister. They usually cry. I was amazed you weren't a bunch of fatzos. What with all this bottomless foie gras and champagne you have at the parties here. Then I ate at your diner. Their food is a better purgative than Ipecac. Hmm. Hey you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. <laughs> you shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. Hey, you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Hey, you, kid with the ugly shirt. Are you colorblind? Your shirt is about to give me a seizure. I mean, I'm a clown, and even I wouldn't touch something that garish. <clears throat> hey, you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Hey, you, mm -hmm. ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. Mm. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. Okay, I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. You know what? Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go Don't see, see my, my mistress, Mrs. Cindy. Aspen. 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 
butter. <laughs> this makeup isn't coming off. Mm. You old lady. You up the you. Come on. Yes, a whole as lot much of as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old Stop lady wasn't just any down. old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. The dark when she curses arts. you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady! Get out of here. Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little? Can't mm. you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you. Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress, and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. Mm. There was a fire in Aspen, and your house burned to the ground. Mm. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. Mm. And one more thing. I quit. Mm. What? And go beep yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Yeah, I already ate one. She throws up. Ain't nothing happened special. I came back in here and asked her about something else. We interrupt our hostile takeover. Non-stop music. Um, okay, let me see if he does anything. Like, he has a fucking chainsaw of expectation. Okay. It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Definitely not the murder weapon. I don't want to waste the powder on that. Mm. I need to dust the murder. That bottle is too muddy to still have prints. Mm. Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Wanted. Huh? A meteor? Wanted. Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. Shady and the Sunshine. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Okay, mm well. The corner. That's the that's not the name. The who. Use the door, Goofy. It's a medical skeleton. Mm -hmm. Please return to Dr. Fred. Pick it up, then. I don't know how to use it. Pick it up, then. No, I don't want to pick that up. Ah, uh, yeah, bitch. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Sean okay, yeah. by Sheriff Crook. Toe tag. Bookshelf. What's over here? Lots of medical books there. Is there a specific book that I can pick up? No? I we have to. Mm -hmm. I already looked at that. That got Michael Jackson in this bitch. Okay, mm I'm using the door. These niggas. Alright, I'm going to return to the crime scene to see whatever time. Whatever time. Whatever is there. Because I ain't checked that yet. I'm going to go this way. Cemetery, that's where Chuck was buried. E bars. That's scary. I didn't even know I was running. Keep running, nigga. Keep running. This is it. Mm There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder. But it's missing the fingerprint tape. What the fuck? There's a fingerprint <coughs> brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder. It's been in the water so long, <coughs> its fingers are waterlogged. Right, Might dude. as well try to fingerprint a prune. All right. Okay. Well. 
And the corpse is still down here. Ain't nobody doing nothing. I'm gonna talk to him. I know he's hurt. Uh, <coughs> mm, I know what. There's nothing up ahead but road. That doesn't seem to work. Uh, you don't know how to use a highway, you little bitch. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna find gas for a chainsaw because that'll probably cut down the tree that's blocking the waterway. That might be it. Cemetery. I ain't even checked that thoroughly. It might have some gas in there just because. Y'all still ain't fixed it. Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Oh, Only someone like me with the business. proper training can handle it. Proper training, hey? You still ain't. I can't get past there until they fix it, huh? Watch. Walk to A Street. Walk to A Street. Nope, can do it. Oh, yeah, so crap. This is closed. It says. We're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paolo. That doesn't seem to work. The doors are locked and nobody's right inside. Here. She's still in here, isn't she? Alright. Evening. We should go talk to that clown. Why don't you let me handle the interviews? I'm more than capable. It's an honor to work with you, Agent Ray. Sit back and watch. Maybe you'll she learn something. A B -I, -B. I really want to get this case solved as soon as possible. You're a little eager beaver, aren't you? Well, I need to get back to solving this case. I wonder if he'll eat it. That doesn't seem to work. Hmm, I'll have one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Let me get that for you. Okay, now eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I um gotta go. Oh, he throws up in front. He's disgusting. <sighs> I feel better now. So if I take all the hot dogs, would I be good? Okay. I'll have one of these hot dogs. Okay. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Let me get I'm that for sure you. They wouldn't go through that a second time. So Eat I up, hon, while it's still hot. <laughs> For the hammer? Mm. 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 Oh. She's really scarfing that boy down. Oh my. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. Mm -hmm. I uh, gotta go. Mm -hmm. She she <laughs> to the side, Ralph. <sighs> <laughs> I feel better now. Okay, same dialogue. Yeah, yeah. Why are there body parts back there? Alright, will they converse about the hot dogs? I've had enough. Chad, right. it's a door. Use it. Obvious. Foster. That doesn't seem to no, work. You, oh, no way am yep. I gonna eat another one of those. Alright, so I gotta get two more people. Skirts? That sounds suspicious. Hmm. Hello, what? Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. Oh, they will be taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. 
violently. Now that did it. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. Ovitron Beta Rent. 3,000. You know what? Oh, he's gonna go up this way. I cover two. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. Okay. You gonna talk to Ricky? Uh. Harry today, gone tomorrow. Okay, I went in there. All the games are broke. There's a bus station. She's the hooker. I gotta talk to her anyway for information. What is this? That Ransom the Clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. Hmm. Look at me. If by look at you mean smell, I've already done that. You can't read my input. That doesn't seem to work. I don't want to pick that up. Push it then. I can't push that. Ah, you weak bitch. There's no path beyond this point. What? It just looks like there's no path beyond this point. It just looks like unfinished temp art from a cut room. Can I go in there? No, can't even do it. Alright. Excuse me, ma'am. My, my, my. What do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester mm. that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. Yeah, she, uh, she, but one she, does hear she, things, she, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me about Pillowtronics. Pillowtronics was the brainchild of my uncle, the mm -hmm. great entrepreneur and genius inventor, Chuck, Chuck Edmund. Edmund. The Edmonds made this town great when we opened the Pillow Factory. Mm -hmm. My family, even my stupid little sister Dolores, might as well be royalty as far as Thimbleweed Park is concerned, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh... Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but Aspersion. I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Right. Actually, no, I can't do this. Why not? The Edmund reputation is at stake. Mm. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. All right. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... A uh, what? Call center operative? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... Mm? A video game developer. <gasps> it all started a few years back. Uh, she only wanted one thing to be a game designer for that awful game company. God, this is part I have to play Mucus here. phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. Hmm. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Okay. Albert's my hero. Oh, Albert. You're a rebel, Billy. Oh, Billy. Oh, Darth Vader. I think Revenge of the Jedi was a much better name. Oh, Max was the world's first computer-generated TV host. Max. Someday we'll have one for real. Ada, you're my role model. Hmm. Too bad you don't program games, though. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64. 
with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Bob. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. What is that? It looks like a graphics card. Let's pick it up. It's Graphics Basic, the powerful programming language from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. It says it's by Ron Gilbert and Tom McFarlane. Wonder who they are. <coughs> this is a great program, but I don't have time to use it right now. You ain't doing nothing. Uh oh, somebody about to approach her. Oh, walk the door. Walk the door. What? That don't make no damn sense. You could have. Alright, might as well. Just have to keep going. What is this? That doesn't seem to work. What do you mean? Use this one. You idiot! Mm. I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company mm. is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toy tronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Mm. Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. You're brothers. Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my point eight millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a two millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I don't want to do I it. know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. Mm -mm. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. Time to look at the shaking journal. Okay. Alright. He's a work of art. I'm looking forward to playing chess with him. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with oscilloscope. phase memory monitoring. With phase memory monitoring. Trying to get in everybody bad, ain't you? Oh no. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. Okay. I guess that makes it a Chuck register. What type of joke was that? You pick up the ink, the ink bottle. Oh, she's stealing. What about this? I'd better not touch it. Oh, but Uncle Chuck it, gets please. real angry if I'm too nosy about his business affairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. How many times have I told you not to touch my things? Oh, but as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to... It's a defunct robot prototype. And that's the head. What is that? What is... What? Yo... It's a whip made out of network cables. The label says it's called Cat 509 Tales, produced by GetDigital.eu. I guess Uncle Chuck was an impatient system admin back in the mm. day. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. Dude, I just picked it up. I'm getting all the clues. Box. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. Open the box. My dear Dolores, please leave my box alone. You, my dear Dolores, ah. please leave my box alone. You may open it up as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory. I'll never open it up. Mm. 
<laughs> All these doors are nothing. They're nothing, I tell you. She just walked here. Alright, let's go down here. Thimbleberry pie. You know what? No. There's a door, door. Let's try this door. Indextron. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. Mm -hmm. It uses the Spewy Decimal System to catalog books. Spewy? It's not Dewey? Lots of books, but you have to know what you're looking for. I'm about to get that magazine. What? Before she starts talking about it again. LeChuck's Revenge. If it weren't for Hold my on. monthly. That's from the. From. The Monkey Island. Cutlery Wars, Dead Fire. Where'd it go? I know I wasn't tripping. I seen it. I know I seen it. Clowning around. Not without a rubber duck. Where is it at? I just need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. Mm -hmm. I know I wasn't tripping. Where is it? I just want to find it. I just want to find it. And it wasn't up here because I, my, my thing was down here. It said LeChuck. Where is LeChuck's Revenge? Uh, I'm going to go through this one more time. Anyway, LeChuck was from Monkey Island. I don't know why it just disappeared, but i seen it. I know i seen it. I ain't tripping. Use fireplace with. The I don't know how to fire. use the fireplace with that. Yeah, it was pretty stupid. Use door. Oh, all right. You can use. I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks great. All right. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. Look, bruh. There's nothing inside. All right. There's nothing inside. All right. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. Pick it up. Boom. There's nothing inside. All right. Open it. Poopsie. Broken bottles of ketchup. Cheese. Old batteries? Why? All right, I picked them up. Poopsie. Use I don't feel like the taste for a non trademark infringing poopsie now. Pick up the lettuce, pick up the cheese. I don't want to pick that up. Carefully handling broken glass. If this were a Sierra online graphic adventure, I'd be dead now. But those mucus phlegm adventure games treat their players much better. No arbitrary deaths just to extend gameplay. Sure would like to work there. Picked up the whole bridge. Okay. I don't want to pick he's that up. He, he's still doing it. He's still doing it. Use plastic. Use glass. Let's the see. glass is now filled with water. Okay, thank you. Now turn this off so we won't waste water. If it weren't for my monthly computer, there's nothing inside. Shut this bitch up. There's nothing inside. Uh, there's nothing open. inside. Open sesame. Close this. I don't want to open it. Okay. This clock looks vaguely familiar. familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. Mm -hmm. 
wonder what they're referring to. Mailtron. Gas can? I say lawnmower or chainsaw. I'll pick it up. Mm, wood pile. Can't wait to check the mailbox. Bitch, we are almost there. Calm down. I'm investigating. Country road. You know what? We gone. We gone. We gone. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. You better check the mail. It's our special Mailtron 3000 mm -hmm. mailbox. Mm -hmm. Postman comes once a day. So ask, Mr. Postman. I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. The mansion mansion. I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. Okay. Okay, so look at it's bite me world the best bite computer me. magazine oh. ever Read it then uh, the Game program mm, you could slim games Hit games three lines of haze and behind jagged lines Look for qualified applicants then a Comprehensive program set you on your way to an exciting highly profitable career in computer game development as a mm, Game <laughs> Long hours, non diet, soda, and pizza work with people who don't want to get you know either out of date arcade machines in the wreck area and watch it. Parent company profits grow. Okay, Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. Yes, I hear they make movies. Why is it in the corner, Goofy? Wait, her room is... Her room is... Her room is this way. So what's in the other... Open hall? I can't open that. Who's at the door? You was just here, nigga. What? Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, I a but I forgot That's to deliver this important mailbox. letter for your Uncle Chuck. You He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores, here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Looks Punishable like by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Looks like I'm about to be $50,000 illegal, nigga. I'd better not open it. Ah, Uncle Chuck would know if I read it. If the envelope is ripped. Her reputation safe. Wow, I didn't see that trophy. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman School of Mathematics. Okay. It's made out of solid pewter, except for the infinity symbol, which is pure titanium. It's a red gel decoder. Pick it up. Pick up math trophy. Pick up. <laughs> These are in mint condition. No way I'm going to touch them. But they're out of the box. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's, it's connected to my computer. I can't use that in the Printron 3000. Hmm. Mm, dial in with modem. Okay. Well, let's just use computer now. 
I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. Mm -hmm. I can't believe my computer's connected to mucus phlegm. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Mm -hmm. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Mm -hmm. Then print out the application and send it to mucus phlegm. Mm -hmm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. Nigga, you got whiskey. You got some whiskey. What? What? Open it, buddy. Shouty, make shout, shout. Oh, tree. Oh, look at that. Oh. Thanks. The signals are strong tonight. Very strong.